Hey guys, you're watching Hardcore and scientific discoveries happen all the time. However, some can be said to be more outrageous and unique than others. So in that vein of thought, here are my top 5 mind-blowing discoveries that have changed the way we see the universe. Number 5 And number 5, we have a discovery developed by Einstein. The mass energy equivalence, or in layman terms, that all mass is simply energy. This comes from the most famous equation of all time, E equals mc squared. In experiments, physicists have found that if you concentrate enough energy, approximately 25 kilowatts or 90 megajoules, into an object, it increases its mass by one microgram. This suggests that you and I, devices that we're watching the video on, and the earth below our feet are all forms of energy. That we're only held together because the energy that we have inside of us isn't enough to rip itself apart. Number 4 Number 4 is one of the most revolutionary findings of all time. Wave-particle duality. In physics, there was a general dichotomy that things were either particles, like electrons, or waves, like light. That is, one is a chunk of matter, and the other an oscillating beam of energy. However, after a series of experiments, physicists found that sometimes light acts as a wave, and other times light acts as a particle. Same with the electron. It's not that these are in some intermediary state, but it's literally both, and only exhibits one set of physical characteristics on the basis of context. This was such an abstract thought that even Einstein had trouble with it. Number 3 Number 3 takes a break from modern and quantum physics to take a look at classical physics. All objects, regardless of weight, fall at the same speed. Most of us have experience with this, and most of it is to the contrary. We know that a single piece of paper will fall to the ground slower than a textbook. So then a good question would be, doesn't weight have an effect on the acceleration of an object as it falls? Well the answer is absolutely not. That is, as long as we're considering freefall. Freefall is when the object falling to the ground is only under the influence of gravity, and no air resistance. And without air resistance, objects always fall at the same speed, regardless of weight. Number 2 Now that we've had a small break, Number 2 returns back to the world of quantum physics, and in particular, the discovery of antimatter. This isn't matter's evil twin, but a substance made of antiparticles, which have the exact same weight as a particle but a different charge. Scientists like Stephen Hawking and a few other quantum physicists suggest that the whole worlds and universes could be made just of antiparticles. However, before you get any dreams of coming into contact with your more evil self, be wary that any contact between you and an antiparticle version of yourself will result in the destruction of both of you. Number 1 and number one is the coolest and most mind-blowing finding of all time. If you remember, I said before that particles like electrons or waves like light can act differently based on context. In the double slit experiment, the researchers proved that when an electron approaches a double slit, i.e. two holes, they can change their form from that of a particle, split itself in two, and then interact with itself, and then approach the slits as a wave. But even more mind-blowing is that if the electron was being observed, it changed the way it behaved completely converting back into a particle and going through a single slit. This suggests that human perception is a determining factor in the behaviour of our universe. A larger question standing, how does the electron know we are watching? Scientists have theorised that the electron lives in a state of superposition, that it occupies all possible states at the exact same time, and that only human observation is able to make it choose one state. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any opinions on the scientific discoveries I mentioned, please leave it in the comment section down below. Also, we're doing a minute message next week, and we need your opinion on what we should do. So if you have any good questions that you want us to answer in a single minute, leave it in the comment section down below, because next week we're going to be picking one of your choices. And hey, thanks for watching!